Hey everyone, if you are watching this tutorial, you definitely need to rock your video with a band and puppet effect. So you might see this kind of videos. To make such effect, you need Adobe After Effects and my tutorial. <laughs> so let's roll out. For the start, I need to create uh, that composition. Duplicate the layer and let's give it a name background. I need to find a moment of me jumping, which I want the tower to move from. Select the pen tool, it's G button, and start drawing mask around the tower. Then I'm changing settings of the mask from add to subtract. Once you switch off background layer, you can see tower has become black. Catch your moment and navigate to content aware field panel. In my case, it's on the right. Other settings leave as it is. Press generate field layer. You will see a small window saying that you should save the project. Click save and press generate fill layer. Give it a few moments to analyze everything until it's finished. FYI, it might take pretty long time depends on your specs. And also it takes two steps of analyzing. Don't be in a rush trying to stop it. At the end you get a raised mask, move the fill layer below the main one. Now we need to change mask settings for the main layer from subtract to add. The tower will appear again. To make the tower swing, I'll go through right side panel and find band effect in effects and preset section. Grab it and drop on the main layer. Don't be afraid if part of your object disappear. Sometimes it happens and it will get to normal once we set everything. The start section we put exactly in the middle of the bottom part of the mask. The end section we put in the same way on the top. As you can see, our tower is back. Now you can use the band section to tilt the tower in any direction. To make the tower swing from one side to another, I need to set all key points. By clicking the stopwatch, move your object. I'm skipping the video three frames forward and moving the tower to another side. Skipping the video step by step forward and moving the tower in different position till the end to the final frame where I want it to stop. Oh yes, don't forget to find a frame before your first key point and set one more key point with the band parameter at zero, so that your object will be straight from the beginning. Let's check the result. Now let me show you one more effect that can make your object move from up and down, like on that video. Duplicate the background layer and move it on the top. Let's call it Puppet. Select the pen tool to draw a mask around your object. It's better to draw it in precisely. Then select Pop and Pin tool and set four points at the bottom of the mask and four more points at the top by spreading them equally. Then open the layer Effect, Puppet, Mesh, Deform and here you will see all the points. Select four points at the top, open preferences so you can see all preferences. Pull selected points down, skip three frames forward and pull them up. Repeat the same action till the frame you want to end this animation, like we did with the tower band effect. You can stretch your object as much as you want or bend it in any direction, it all depends on your creativity. Uh, let's see how it looks. As you can see, the building went down but nothing changed. To fix it, you need to duplicate the background layer and put it on the top. Then select Clone Stamp 2 and use it like in Photoshop, removing the object till the mask's edges of the bottom layer. Select Composition, drag the layer below, Puppet layer, and the video is fixed. Thanks for watching this tutorial because I was trying to do all my best to explain everything in detail step by step. So do not forget to like the video, 
uh, leave your comment below. I'm always there. Hey, <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. See ya.